Good morning vlog. Um, I've been awake for like the past two and a half hours or so, but I haven't been vlogging because I've just been literally panicking because um, this little baby is going to be home alone all by herself. Well, duh, home alone all by herself. Anyway, she's going to be home alone today, not in the crate, which this is the first time that we've ever done this. I'm not excited about it. I'm just so nervous because I don't know if I'm going to be able to stop by the house um, in between work today. So I might try, like, I don't know. Sometimes I have to sub at different campuses for my daycare job. So depending on what campus I'm at today, I might see if I can go in like 10 minutes late just so I can stop by the house and check on her because I'm so nervous. Um, Sam and I made a plan last night that we we're gonna close all of the doors to rooms that she doesn't need to go into. Um, leave the, cause she has her own room. It's not really like a, I mean, it's a room, but like we still have like, um, most of those are empty boxes. And then like Sam's hamper, her crates in here. She has a closet <laughs> full of her own stuff. Um, we're gonna leave this room open just in case she wants to sleep like in her crate where she's comfortable. Um, close the bathroom door. We're gonna close our bedroom door. So I moved her bed into our living room. Um, I unplugged <laughs> so much stuff. And yeah, she's been pretty low energy the past two or three days just because of her limp. Cause she's still got a bit of a limp. So I'm hopeful that she'll just kind of chill, but I don't know. You okay? Are you gonna be a good girl today? Are you gonna be a good girl today? That's, <laughs> that's our Christmas decoration box in a Tito's box anyway are you gonna be a good girl she said i don't know i love you do you care at all <laughs> she just looked me up and down she said i love you can you say i love you to the camera oh yeah i'm making myself feel better by continuously vlogging us together i love you oh thank you oh thank you oh thank you Oh, thank you. She's so cute anyway. All right, so I'm now driving. I'm so panicked. They let me go home. They did not keep my call in. So I am literally rushing home. You know, obviously being careful because you know, if I don't make it home at all, that's not helpful. But I've just, I've just like, I'm just hoping that she's just sleeping. I'm just, that's literally like, I'm just hoping that she's just resting, that she didn't knock anything over, break anything. The good thing is that I'll be able to let her outside to use the bathroom, make sure that she's eaten, and then I can put her in the crate for the next, you know, I'll only be gone for four hours. So that'll be good. <gasps> it's me, baby, hi. Are you a good girl? You're alive, that's all I care about, hi. <laughs> You're alive, that's all I care about. Okay, she's she's bite, or she's scratching her ear because she has an ear infection, so I just cleaned it and she doesn't like it. But she did so good. Did you do so good? Do you want another treat? Do you want to go get another treat? Come on. Okay, <laughs> I can't tell you how nervous I was. I've literally been thinking about it like all day. Like I was trying to deal with customers and like in between each customer, I was like, what is my dog doing right now? What is my dog doing right now? What is my dog doing right now? He said, good girl. Um, she didn't eat any of her food, did not touch it, did not touch her water, it's still full. So I think she was just really nervous the whole time. <laughs> good girl. No, I don't want to play with your rope. Go, let it go. Get your rope. Get it. Get it. Oh, I'll go get it. I'll go get it. I'll go get it. See, she really kind of messes up with the backyard. She decided to dig a hole the other day. So we're going to have to get some soil and fix that. 
over there is a bit of a hole, but that's, we have a sprinkler system that we didn't know about. And I don't know where the spring, oh, it's over there. But that is why it gets so wet. And then she starts to <coughs> dig. Yeah, I know, no ma'am. I cut myself off. What I was saying is, um, Sam's at his new job. He told me that it's going well, which I'm happy about because I knew it was gonna go well. I know that like, I knew they were gonna like him. Obviously they hired him really quickly. So obviously they love him, but it just, you know, I, he's had the, his last job for like two years. I, I've changed my job a couple of times. Not that I have a full-time job, but it's weird changing jobs. And so I just, you know, I'm glad that it's going well so far. So aren't we glad? You look like a hot mess with your ear all messed up. I'm gonna have to clean this place though. But I got my schedule for next week and I have like the second half of the week off morning wise. And I'm so excited because that's very good for me to be able to sleep in. Like I don't have to work Thursday morning, but I have therapy at 8 a.m. So I don't get to sleep in at all. Um, so that sucks. So I don't get to sleep in until Saturday, if I even get to sleep in Saturday, because I don't know what Sam and I are gonna do, because um, we're celebrating our anniversary this weekend. So like, I'm trying to think of some fun thing that I could do or that we could do, because we're trying not to spend a lot and there's not a lot that we can do because of you know COVID and restrictions and everything like that. So <sighs> it's just kind of like weighing our options. So you wanna see this cute bear? <laughs> I got this from Bath and Body Works and it just like hangs on your candle like this. It's so cute. Do you wanna see my candle collection? So first we have this guy that's spiced gingerbread and I have him on there. Um, and then I got this cute candle holder from like probably Target, like the dollar spot. And it's just like a, um, a tea light holder. And those tea lights, I have like 20 or 30 of them and they're from Ikea. All right, so there's no light in here, but this is our like fragrance closet. So I have a like, it's not super organized. That's not a bottle of wine. I put candles, like I have these that I like to put in wine bottles. And I don't, that one has like a really small one. I don't think you can tell, but then I just have room sprays. That's where I put like wallflower plugs, but um, that's the only one that I'm not using. Candle holders. Um, I don't ever buy anything <laughs> full price, just so you know, I like use coupons. I wait for like sales and stuff. I don't buy any of this at full price because that's crazy. Um, these are my Bath and Body Works candles that I've collected. Um, and then that one's just from Target. This one's also awesome from Target. This one's like the best fall candle ever pumpkin spice. I loved that one. That one like was so fragrant. It was really good. Now all of these, see, I don't know how to take care of candles very well. They look weird, but these are all my friend Emily's candles and they are so good. These are so, so, so good. Let me show you my like favorite ones real fast. So the, the one that I've been burning by my bed recently has been this Halloween town one. <sighs> smells like pumpkin souffle is what it says it's so good like sometimes I'll just be sitting in my room and it'll have been burning for like an hour or so and like I feel like oh I can't smell it anymore I leave my bedroom to do something come back in and I'm like bombarded with the smell of pumpkin it's so good and then this one is like my favorite non-seasonal one sweet creature based on the Harry Styles song it just oh, I was about to say it smells like cupcakes because it is cupcakes Hey, Demi. I'll explain that <laughs> poster <laughs> another time. But anyway, those candles are good. I only buy good candles. Some of the Bath and Body Works ones, most of the ones that were in my closet, I haven't burnt yet because um, they're new. They're from this past weekend. Um, except for, I think, like one or two of them. One of them is old and then, or two of them are old. So I burnt those. But yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I run out of things to vlog, so I have to like make stuff up. I'm gonna change, I'm gonna go to work, come back, and hopefully she'll have done good again. She's already laying down. She's already worn out from just running out there, so.
crossing our fingers that that's a good sign. Do you not want to talk to the camera? <laughs> What's in your mouth?